Welcome to Lab at Five. Thanks for joining us. Uh, what we're going to do this summer, we talked about this last week, is, is we're just going to post one on Wednesdays. One on Wednesdays for this summer. And so the topic that we thought we'd talk about is angels. And we're just going to do a little survey about angels uh, as we go throughout this summer. Now, we want to get started, and the first thing we want to do is I want to give you a working definition of angels so we all know what we're talking about because there's a lot of misinformation about angels out there and so we need to know the truth because there is some danger out there that people don't know about so we want to talk about those things so let's get a good working definition and the a definition that I chose is this and I'll say it twice so you can write it down if you want to angels are created spiritual beings with moral judgment and high intelligence, but without physical bodies. Let me say it again. Angels are created spiritual beings with moral judgment and high intelligence, but without physical bodies. The first thing we want to look at is angels are created beings. They have not been around forever. They are created beings. In fact, both the Old and the New Testament talk about them being created. And I just want to read you a couple verses, very short, where it talks. A couple in the old, one in the new. Listen to this. This is out of Nehemiah. Nehemiah 9.6 says, You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, angels, the earth and all that is, is on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them. And the host, angels, of heaven worships you. This is taken out of Psalm 148, verses 2 and 5. It says this, Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. And then one out of the New Testament, Colossians 1.16 says, For by him, Jesus, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, he's talking about angels here, or rulers or authorities, again angels, all things were created through him and for him. So we see that angels are created beings. Now the question then comes up is when were they created? Well, there's a couple things we do know. We know that they were created before the seventh day of creation. They were created before that. I would say they were probably created early, much earlier than that um, uh, because of this one passage in Job where it talks about they rejoiced when the earth was created. So they had to be uh, created before the earth uh, was created. So they were probably created way, way early. Uh, let me read this passage. It's Job 38, verses 6 and 7, and this is God speaking to Job. He says, on what were its bases sunk? He's talking about the earth. Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars, angels, sang together and all the sons of God, angels, shouted for joy. So they're created beings and they were probably created way, way early in the creation story. And that's about all we really know about angels. Now there's a couple other things I wanna tell you here real quick is the angels um, uh, were created good and holy, and they had a privileged relationship with God when they were created. They, they had a holy relationship, if you will, with God. And we'll talk about what happened uh, later on down the line. Um, we also know they have great intellect and power, and they are spiritual beings, which means they don't have physical bodies like we do. Now, God from time to time allows people to see the angels. Now, you see that in the Old Testament, you see it in the New Testament. Um, uh, there are times when God allows us, but angels are spiritual beings. They do not have physical bodies, even though we see them like that when God allows it. They also can only be in one place at one time, and they do not marry. You see, they were created to honor, worship, and serve God, and they are also answerable to God. 
So that's just kind of our introduction to angels. And we'll go a little deeper as we go on. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's what we're going to do this summer is we're just going to talk about angels this summer. Again, thank you for joining us. And just let me just pray here real quick. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for giving us the word. Thank you for teaching us the word of God. Father, we are so thankful for that. Father, now I just pray for my brothers and sisters. And Father, it's just good to, uh, good to be back and doing Live at Fives again. And so, Father, we just pray that uh, you will bless this study that we do on angels and that we'll learn in, uh, as we go through this. Again, Father, thank you for Jesus and what he means to us. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.